you can do your own breath work um, or just really just notice that the quietness in between the breath cycles. You might like to do a body scan or any of your own meditation practice, but for now, I think I'll just close my eyes and begin. Take one more deep breath. Bring the hands to the heart. And let that go. Take your hands to the legs. And we'll just start with some easy cat cows opening up. I know when I've been out of the practice for even like a, you know, a few days, I can get really tensed up in the back. Getting more cat cows in, more movement in, just helping to warm it up. It's interesting in a moment of stillness and quiet how we can notice the thoughts that are always running through, but we get to slow down and kind of it's like, oh. Noticing that they're there. And as you're moving through your cat cows, get your shoulders involved so you can feel your shoulder blades wrap away and then bring them towards each other so you get some space through the chest, forming up through the upper back, shoulder muscles. Try isolating the shoulder muscles so they kind of stay in the shoulder blades stay and move your spine. That might make a smaller movement. Good. Lift up the spine, roll the shoulders. As you're rolling your shoulders, it feels good to draw your head side to side and just a little movement. Keep the shoulders down the back and draw your chin from one shoulder across the chest to the other shoulder. Notice if any areas are not moving freely. And come back up through center. 
with the arms, give a big stretch to the sky. Interlace the fingers and press up. Take another breath cycle with the arms up, lengthening through the sides. Draw the hands forward to lean back, round in. Back up, reach up, release the hands gently, push side to side and hug yourself across the body. I like to draw the arms kind of actively downward. Very so much that it feels like a good stretch through the shoulders. And maybe again, taking the head a little side to side, if that feels good for you. Let that go, come to forward fold. Big stretch, walk your hands forward. And walk your hands back. Lift up the heart, engage your shoulder blades towards each other and down. Exhale, let that go. If you'd like to change your leg position, go for it. Continue in your cat cows. And then thinking about this big muscle lately, um, the lats, latissimus dorsi, it comes, spreads out through your whole back into the shoulders. So it's coming from the low back and the sacrum area, and it goes all the way up through the back to the shoulder blades and attaches to the arm. So kind of like, um, We'll feel a little bit of it. It's like the side body, uh, side of the shoulder blade, outer shoulder blade. As you're leaning back, it's stretching out, rounding. As you come into your seated cow pose, drawing your shoulders back, it's contracting. Back and forth. Roll the shoulders down the back, stretch out the arms up. Angle the hands, palms forward, like down dog. And this would be like stretching it up. You can imagine from the outsides of the shoulder blades all the way into the low back. Bend your elbows like goddess pose, activate the outer shoulders. That's activating the lats there to draw the arm bones downward. Back up, do it again, palms towards each other. Palms forward, goddess arms. Without back bending. One more time, reach up. And elbows out. Good, easy, slide the hands down. Come to your forward fold, stretching the hands forward, round back. Walk your hands back behind you. Press down into the fingers, lift up. And then let it go. Good. Let's go ahead and roll into a table and the three more cat cows. We'll get into good stretching today. Spread out your fingers, spread out your palms, rolling through your cat cows. And come up to your down dog. We'll spend a little extra time here. So put all your feet, do what you want to do. Arriving in the pose. It feels like it's kind of like 
if you need a break in your hands or wrists in down dog, you can always take a moment coming back down to a tabletop, do a cat cow, maybe even like move, come up and move your wrists, you know, just take care of yourself. Soft exhale in your down dog, arriving here. Come all the way forward. Bend your knees and rise up. Lifting up to the sky. Exhale, soften your arms to your sides. Roll your shoulders. Inhale, stretch out side to side, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, arms out to the sides. Swan dive. And we'll do that a couple more times. Just take it slow to avoid any dizziness or lightheadedness. Bend your knees, rise up, swoop up. Soften the arms. Stop letting it go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the knees, lay onto your legs. Head down, release your neck. More time coming up, nice and slow. Reach up. Release the arms. I like to think of like a feather softness. <sighs> Inhale, reach up. Gather it up and forward fold. This time we'll stay in a forward fold for three more reps. Halfway lift, and we'll come back to our uh, plank pose. Think about your plank through the front body. Draw the knees down and lower all the way down. Hug your elbows to your sides. Cobra. Let's take three cobras. Let it go. Two more. And let it go. Push back up to down dog. Exhale. Stretch your left leg up. Just give a nice stretch up. Change legs. Let it go. Step all the way forward. Rise up, swoop side to side. And soften the arms to your sides. Inhale, reach up. Forward fold, swan dive. Two more breaths. Halfway lift. Exhale to step into plank pose. Hold your plank. Lengthen through the front body. Hips not too high, not too low. Inhale. 
Draw the knees down, lower all the way down. One plank. Cobra three times. Inhale and exhale. Anchor your toes. Anchor your strong legs. Anchor your pelvic bone. And push back to down dog. Exhale. Step all the way forward. Rise up, arms up. Exhale, soften the arms. Inhale, reach up. So we're opening up the ribs. We're giving some space for the lungs to expand. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift into plank. Keep breathing. The front of the neck, like a little flex to bring the chin in if it feels like your head's kind of hanging down. Think about the plank through the front of the neck too. Draw the knees down, lower down. Cobra, one time. Exhale, push back, down dog. Step all the way forward. Inhale up to the sky. Exhale, soften the arms. Good, Roll the shoulders. Take the right leg, step it back into crescent lunge. Just an easy warm up into crescent lunge here. Right leg back. So stay here. Take your right arm and make a circle. Draw it forward, back. Be mindful of what's happening when it's behind your back. And back up. Take your left hand back, making a circle the other way. Forward and up. Take the right hand forward, back and up. Backward circle, left hand back, forward and up. One time, both at the same time. Whoa. I don't know why I have to make like sound effects for it. Go ahead and step forward, arms to your sides. It's kind of a fun, um, like mind body exercise. Step the other foot back, left leg back. So the le left arm. Down, up, right arm, back, up, left, forward, back, up, right, back, down, and up. Both at the same time. Left arms forward, right arms back. Awesome. Step forward. Inhale, reach up. Forward fold. Half lift into plank. Come down through your chaturanga. Inhale to your cobra or your up dog. Exhale back to your down dog. Inhale to lift your left leg back. Exhale to step it forward. Come up into crescent lunge. 
Good. Right into it. So we'll have the left arm forward and the right arm back. Big circle. Do it again. Three times. And one more time. Then lower your hands, step back, come back through your plank pose and chaturanga. Exhale back to down dog. Inhale to lift the right leg back. Exhale, step it forward, rise up. Settle in. The right arm is forward and the left one goes back. Three times, use your breath. At the exhale, my hands kind of cross at the bottom. Inhale, lift them back up. Lower the hands, step back, come back through your chaturanga. Dog Cobra, exhale to down dog. Inhale to lift the right leg back. Exhale, step it forward. Back foot to warrior one. Inhale, rise up, sink in, settle in. Let's take eagle arms with warrior one. So we'll take the uh, right leg is forward, right arm underneath. Cross up the arm. Settle in. I find with the arms in this kind of like bind or different position here, there's a different kind of balancing and a different kind of Reliance in the legs and the floor. Swoop the arms up. Lengthen out the leg. Take a breath. Exhale into pyramid. You can keep it a little shallow if you like, not dropping your head as far down. Keep the leg active. I'm just staying a little higher up while we're warming up still. So. Good, bend into your knee, rise up, step forward, mountain. Good, inhale, reach up, forward fold. Halfway lift, take the right foot all the way back. Get back, there it is. Draws forward through the heart and lift up through the hips. So we're just gonna rise and sink a couple of times. Good, settle your back knee down. Take the hands to the front leg and lift them up to the side. Reach up. Exhale, hands down, step back into plank pose. Come through Chaturanga in your way. Exhaling back to down dog. Inhale to lift the left leg. Exhale, step it forward, bring your back foot to warrior one. Now, ground in, a little sense of your body. Sense your stability, the strength of the legs. Take your right arm underneath, crossing into eagle arm. And sense in now again, feel into your legs, feel into your core. Maybe it feels the same, maybe not.
Release the arms, lengthen out your leg into your pyramid. Again, I'm going to keep it a little shallow. You may be warm, warmed up than me. I don't know what's happened for your morning. And the knee, come back up, step forward. That was good. Inhale, stretch up. Forward fold, let go. Halfway lift, take the left foot all the way back. And here we are set up again into this very long lunge. Lifting and sinking in the hips a bit. Getting into the hip flexor in that back leg. Settle the back knee down. Walk your hands to the front leg. Front knee is over the heel. I was a little far forward, so I'm moving my foot back. Arms up. Big stretch up. Exhale, hands down, step back. Come through Chaturanga and up and down dog. Awesome. Inhale to take the left leg up. Exhale, bring it all the way forward. I need to scooch it forward a bit more. Coming into your twist. Left arm up. So as you're engaging this arm up, strong through the upper back, this is a place where we can consider the lats there. Active side of the back. Exhale, your hand down. Back knee down, arms up. Find yourself in a little rising and sinking here, and getting into your hips, into the quads of that back leg. Exhale your hands down. Let's go ahead and take the back foot and hop it into warrior, warrior one. Rise up. So that front, that back leg, I just kind of hopped it a few steps, angle it out. Here we are again. Lengthen out that front leg, coming back into pyramid. Maybe it's a little more this time. About pointing to the back wall with your hip crease. So grounding into my big toe ball now. Bring a level of the hips. He's rolling up and away. Bend your knee, rise up. We're gonna fly this time. If you take your back, back foot forward first or fly right into warrior three. Arms forward or back, right at your hips. Land, mountain. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, let it go. Forward fold. Be in your forward fold for a couple more exhales. Let go of the shoulders. Halfway lift. And this is the left foot all the way back. Setting up to twist to the right. Exhale, rotate the hand down, back knee down, arms up. And just kind of gauging what feels good. Deeper is not always better, considered lifting up the glutes. Awesome. 
Awesome. Lower your hands. So the back foot, we're stepping it into warrior one. Lengthen into your pyramid. Breathe. Top of the head towards the toes. Bend your knee, come up. Sign up to fly into warrior two. Ready, go. Land into mountain. Ooh, I'm warmed up. Let's go ahead and do a standing quad stretch. Easy breezy. See, let it go. Remember to flex the ankle a little bit before you're really like set up into it. If the toe wants to point, try doing this before you're in like a full stretch sensation. So like first things first, that way, um, it'll be more active for your quads to stretch. Awesome, let it go. Let's open out wide. Keeping wide on the mat. Take the arms up and we're gonna, um, arms up, bend into the elbows. Like goddess, without goddess legs. Inhale, reach up. As you do that, turn over towards the left. So a little bit of a twist. Keep a soft bend in your knees. Inhale, reach up. Soft twist to the other side. Uh, so I'm keeping my knees a little bit bent, keeping from um, straining at the knees, other side. Up. And <laughs> Elliot's in the TV screen now, over to the right. Good, reach up and forward fold, wide forward fold. Stretch out side to side. Bring the left hand underneath your eyes like a halfway lift through the spine. Take your right arm, reach it up. Bring the hand to your low back, elbow pointing up. Exhale, slide that hand down, other side to twist, lengthen spine, reach your arm up, and hand to the low back. Exhale, let it go. Bend the knees and rise up. Set up into goddess. Sink in.
Inhale, come up, do it again. Exhale, down. And one more time. And inhale up, release the arms, pivot the foot open to the right, come into your warrior two. Thank you. Lengthen to side angle, stretch. Reverse warrior. Big reach overhead, keep breathing. Come up to triangle. Keep your top hand to stretch overhead. Ease it down. I bring it to the front leg usually and use a little support to walk my hands up. Sink back into warrior two. Maybe a little deeper. Slide into side angle. Stretch open. Open fingers without stress. Reverse warrior. Into triangle. Let it go. Rotate back in if you can. Bring your hands behind you. Palms together. Elbows with a slight bend. Fold. Run the hands down to the low back and down the leg. Take some uh, movement side to side. So stretch over to the left and then walk your hands like a big rainbow to the other side. If you find a point on that rainbow that feels good to hold and breathe and stretch, great. Walk your hands back. And one more time over. And come up. Set up to the left. Into your goddess, or into your uh, warrior two. Side angle, stretch. All of these side stretches where you might feel it kind of at the outer shoulder blade across the side of the ribs and the low back. Up and over, reverse warrior. Come up to triangle. Let it go. Bend the knee, back up, warrior two. Side angle, the legs remain. Reverse warrior, keep breathing. Big stretch up and over and triangle. This time with the reach overhead, big stretch away. Let it go. Walk your hands up. Right forward fold. And we'll take a moment here, doing what feels good. If you want to roll your shoulders, bend your knees, any sort of stretch in your wide position. And I will slowly come up. You'll toe the feet together. Shake it out. Exhale. 
And I want to come back to the front of the mat. You're going to come down into a frog squat at the front of the mat. Take your time stepping back into your tabletop. Now, how you get there? Into table, sway your hips side to side. Spread the needle, back arm up. Spread through, keep your hips level, feet level. Make your way out, change sides. And come out. Exhale, let that go. So we're gonna take a puppy pose if it feels okay for you. Sometimes I do it with my toes tucked under, so I feel like I have more control. Walking the hands forward, keep your hips up, stretch out. Time, walk your hands back up towards you. We're just gonna be here. Um, you might need to put a, like a cushion or something underneath your sit bones if sitting on your legs is not right for your knees. It's not right for your knees, you're not alone, that is for sure. your head a little side to side. If this is okay, you want to come deeper into hero pose, taking the feet to the outside. I'm going to start like perched up on my heels and then let my hips slide in a little by little. Might be sitting on a block for support. We'll take the left hand to the side, anchor your fingers, draw your shoulder back, take your chin down towards the opposite shoulder. I use my hand at the front of the shoulder to support the stretch that's happening, anchoring in the pecs. Try drawing the chin up a little and down. Let go of that side. I'm going to come a little deeper into my hero pose. Bring my hips down, maybe. Ooh. 
and the other side, right hand out, shoulder back, chin over to the left, lifting and sinking the chin. Good. Slowly come out from here. I'm going to walk my hands forward. Gently lift patting the feet on the mat. And let's give the legs a moment coming down to our tongues. Make a pillow out of your hands. Bend the knees and rock the feet side to side. It might be one hand, it might be both. If you, uh, it's okay for uh, both, reach for your ankles. This is the same as that standing quad stretch where I wanna have like a little bit of a flex, not a hard stern kind of flex, but like a, I don't know, 75%, 60%. Holding on, inhale, lift up the legs, kick into the hands. Now, if that's not it, one at a time would have the forearm down for some support. If you're doing one at a time, come out. And if you're doing both, come on out. We'll all join together in a moment. Letting go. Then the knees shift the legs side to side. All right, so go ahead and push into your table. Get a couple rounds of cat cows before we sink into child's pose. Going from one deep end to another, I'd like to take a neutral moment between. Kind of easy cat cows, easy to sway the hips. And when you're ready, child's pose. You like bringing your arms to your sides, the child's pose, touching the feet. So make your way up into your butterfly seat. Stretch forward a couple of times, allowing the knees to lengthen out, and then coming into your full. Come up and take the right leg out to the side, 45 degrees. Just giving a big stretch for the back. Reach up, turn the heart, and fold. The hands up, side stretch, 
So I anchor this hand inside of the leg as far down as what feels right. This one comes up and over and it reaches towards the foot as well. And reverse out. Change sides. Taking a moment to reach up, twist, reach up again, twist a little more. Walk your hands up and change um, to side stretch. Make your way back up. And let's go and recline. I want to take some time on our backs to do some things. Go ahead and come to your back and relax a little bit. Bring the feet down and take bridge pose. Lift up your hips, press into your feet. Keep your knees forward. You can use a block in between your knees if you wanna challenge that, helping to activate the inner thigh. Lift up the heels and roll down. Come back, lift up. You might like interlacing the hands behind you or doing robot arms at the sides. I like just anchoring my arms out on the ground. Lift up the heels and roll down. One more time. Lift up the heels and roll down. Sway your knees side to side. Into our figure four, left with the right leg up. Crossing to figure four in your way. Slowly let that go, keep your leg back up, change sides.
Easy, make your way out. Turn over to your side for Vishnu's couch. Bring it to the quad stretch. Just a quick moment there. Turning to your other side. Bring your stretch, kicking up to the sky. And quad stretch it. Roll back to your back. Happy baby. I'm going to move my ankles here. You might like to as well. Just taking the circles for the ankle. the free time and happy baby. Bring your feet down. We'll come into an easy twist. Shifting the hips over to the left. Sliding the legs to the right. Out to the other side. And roll out. Coming up for bear pose, arms and legs up. If you would like to take your uh, your um, shoulder stand and plow pose, that might be an option. Stay in bear pose.
out in your way. If there's anything else that you would like to do, any other poses you need before settling to Shavasana, just like a big stretch. You're ready, coming to your Shavasana. Noticing the thoughts for what they are. Recentering your mind. 